Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. There will be an extended at the end of this reading. Um, the link for that will be in the comment section below. It will be available on Vimeo and Patreon, which is kind of dope. Um, in the extended, we get into pretty much your person, how they feel on the inside, how they process things. It's almost like a deeper dive into their psyche, which is pretty dope. You know, what are they hiding? What are their intentions behind the actions they're taking? It's a lot of really good information. Okay, so that's one thing. The other thing is I am doing personal readings, as you guys can see on the screen. A couple of different options and link for that to, will be in the description below, as well as whatever card deck that I'm using during my readings. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and get into it, Pisces. Um, what was a past romantic situation? What was the most recent past romantic situation with Pisces and their person of interest? Romantically, who they're thinking about right now, Pisces. Okay, death, interesting. Scorpio energy. What is their current situation? What is their current situation with this person? What is their current romantic situation with this person? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. And how does this person romantically feel about Pisces? How does Pisces person of interest, who Pisces is thinking about right now, how do they feel about Pisces romantically? Okay. The chariot, beautiful. And what does this person view, or what does Pisces view as a block? What's, what does Pisces view as a block for this romantic situation? What's blocking this romantic connection with Pisces? Okay, the Hierophant. The Six of Wands. It can be the fact that somebody's not single or somebody wants to be single or live a single life. That definitely can be an obstacle, right? And what is an unforeseen event in the near future for Pisces and this person? What is an unforeseen event for Pisces and this person in the near future romantically? Ooh, there's a lot of cards here. Okay, hold on. It's the Moon in Judgment. So let's just put these guys out. Le Moon and judgment pretty interesting energy if you ask me so let's pop over here i think that in the past right i think that there was some type of major ending between you and this person so for a lot of you pisces for some of you guys this may be a brand new beginning okay with somebody brand new or this can be somebody from your past that's kind of renewed and coming forward but with death here, I definitely feel like there was some type of ending between you and this person that brought you a lot of pain. I think that it required you and this person to grow individually prior to coming back together. And I feel like it was an unexpected change between you and them. I, I, I feel like you and this person took some time to, to really sit down and think about what you want from each other, right? What makes you guys tick? What exactly do you want? What are you manifesting? What is your foundation, right? And, and, and I think that this maybe probably ended because there wasn't a solid foundation built in the first place. Or this relationship was trying to grow and evolve while somebody was over here not wanting to take that leap of faith, right, Pisces? But also with the hermit here in your past, you know, um, somebody is used to being alone. Some, so, somebody needed some time to really think about exactly what they wanted in life, the direction that they wanted to go, um, whether or not this was something that they wanted to invest in, whether or not this was something that they felt like they could be successful in or you felt like you could be successful in. I just feel like you and this person are very, very um, attracted to one another or attached to one another for whatever the reasoning is, right? Because you also have the emperor here, which is beautiful, or beautiful energy, but this is the past, right? I think that part of the problem though in the past was that somebody was very set in their ways. Somebody here felt like there was a certain process to things, that there, there was something here where somebody wanted things to move faster than the other person while somebody needed to really take a step back and figure out exactly what they wanted when it came to life. It also can be too, there was somebody that was very focused on their career and something needed to end. And I feel like with you and this person in the past, there was a big ending, but I feel like that ending has done something. I feel like that ending has given you or this person a different perspective for how to move forward with one another. 
In the current, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's obviously some type of new start here or some type of new beginning, right? There's a lot of potential momentum between the two of you guys. And I feel like it's a very solid start. For me personally, the Ace of Pentacles, out of all the Aces, I like the Ace of Pentacles because it's something that's already solidified, right? It's, it, it's like you have the seed, what are you gonna do, right? You can plant it or you can hold on to it. Either way, it's all depending on how we decide to shape this energy. But because it's something we can physically hold or something that we can physically see, I think that it makes things, um, it solidifies things in this 3D world, right? And I do feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, there's some type of new opportunity here with this person. Queen of Pentacles, wow. Page of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. In the past, I feel like, sorry if I'm bouncing all over the place, Pisces, but I know you guys can keep up with me. In the past, I feel like there was a there was not a level of stability. I think that somebody was was comfortable being by themselves. Now, all of a sudden, in the current, I feel like there's this idea that's coming back around about some type of partnership, what that would look like, how would that feel. I think that there's going to be communication on certain healing between you and this person, on renewing some type of information. I just feel like there's positive news that's coming in here. I think especially during Capricorn season, there's a level of stability behind it. But I also feel like too, with the Seven of Cups here, there's still that illusion of what do I want, right? I feel like somebody here doesn't know whether or not they want to be single or whether or not they want to be in a relationship, which I think is causing a level of, um, I don't want to say chaos because I don't think chaos is the right terminology. But I think that it, it's, it's people are in this fantasy world about what it could be, right? Especially with this page energy, it's like the page and the queen of cups or queen of pentacles. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be a page or are you gonna be the queen of pentacles? Is this gonna be a, a solidified relationship or is it gonna be something that is very touch and go, right? Touch and go, hot, cold, hot, cold. Because I do feel like there was a lack of communication on somebody's end. Um, Aries, Scorpio energy, Virgo energy. There's a lack of communication on somebody where they just didn't know what they want or they were very focused on themselves. Now it's a new start at some type of solid relationship. But again, that page of pentacles is still kind of in the in, in on the outside looking in, kind of like rummaging through, I feel like. I also feel that with the seven of cups here, right? I think that there is some type of very um, sexual connection between the two of you, right? This is Venus and Scorpio. That, that That's a very sexual energy. And I feel like somebody wants somebody to prove it. Somebody wants somebody to prove that they can trust them. I also feel like too, somebody here may have recently had some type of epiphany where, you know, they sat back and, and really asked themselves, you know, what is my life like? Does this make me happy? And I feel like this person has all these other, you or your person has all these other ways that this could go. But at the end of the day, there's something here where somebody is making some type of decision or some type of choice to move forward. Nonetheless, with the chariot here, how this person feels about you, Pisces, I definitely think that despite whatever drama or chaos or whatever that you and this person were going through, right? I think that when you and this person took a break because death is there, right? With a break, possibly death to, you know, uh, stopping the talking or, or, or no longer being, by, being alone. However it is, taking that break right? Reevaluating the situation and taking a step back and kind of looking at things and evaluating things and assessing things from a different perspective has allowed you to figure out or this person to figure out that they do want to move forward with you. I think that they tried to um, explore other options. I'm going to be honest. And I think that whatever, whatever the reasoning is, this person now feels like they want to be on the same page with you. 
Cancer energy, okay? Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. Because I do think that this person loves you. And I think that this person has the willpower to stay committed to you, right? And it's interesting though, because you also have the Six of Pentacles and you have the Wheel of Fortune for how this person feels about you romantically, right? I feel like this person has gone back and forth quite a bit, right? And I think that what this person is starting to understand that communicating with you and talking with you, even if this is something that I feel like has moved really, really slowly, there's a level of harmony that happens when you and this person talk with one another. This, there are certain adjustments that are taking place in order to realign both you and this person together. And I think that this person is starting to understand that because they no longer want to be in conflict with you. I, I think that this person wants to reconcile and move forward and see where things are going to go because there's something here where they had to look at things from a different perspective. There's something here that required a level of sacrifice between you and them because there was a level of suspense here. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, things are changing, things are progressing, things are expanding, things are moving forward in the right direction. And they feel like they feel like you moving forward with them that it's meant to be. You and this person are finally getting on the right page. You're understanding how to communicate with one another. You're communicating in an effective way, right? Six of Pentacles, give and take. This is a very give and take situation. It's a situation that is, um, you know, there's a level of possessive energy around it, right? But it's something that has built up over a period of time where these emotions are stabilized and these emotions are true. And I think that this person realizes that about you. There's something here that's changing. I, I, I think that there's a level of hope here or a level of renewal that things are going to be expanding and luck is changing. Luck is changing for them. Luck is changing for you, right? This is a turn of events and I feel like this person really does view this as an opportunity to make things right with you, to really solidify how, how everything is between you and them. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, um, Aries or Scorpio energy. I think that with this person, it's almost like they're trying to pull out all of the tricks of the trade in order to like secure the bag with you. You being the bag, Pisces. I think that this person has paid attention to you. I think that this person is starting to understand your wants, your needs, why you do certain things. You know, when you go quiet, why do you go quiet? I think that this person is really trying to take a different perspective or a different approach when it comes to you. And I feel like this person is allowing you to come to them. I don't feel like they're being as intense, maybe. But it's crazy, Pisces. I'm going to be honest. There's zero swords here. So there's a lot of pentacles. The majority of this is pentacles. So this is a relationship that wants to be solidified. This is a relationship that's trying to ground itself. And when the relationship grounds itself, there's a lot of forward movement when it goes or when it turns the right direction. I just feel like right now, neither of you are really sure what's to come. But I feel like you're just going just to go to see where it is. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of like uh, restraints right now. It's wherever it takes me, I'm going to go. Like hop in this hot air balloon, we're rolling. As a, um, you know, again, as a block here, it's the six of wands. So I definitely feel like somebody may be in the public eye here, okay? Somebody may want to be single. This may be an ego thing or even possibly a Leo that is affecting um, your relationship. What's blocking this? The Two of Pentacles. Somebody has to make a decision, Pisces, with whether or not they want to be single or they don't. This or that. Somebody may have more than one option here that they have to make an actual decision. I also feel like somebody is going through... If, it, if, if, if this is pertaining to somebody's work, right? There's a lot of um, juggling going on here. 
th th there's um, this person, I feel like you or this person is trying to adapt to all of your daily tasks and multitasking and having a lot going on where I feel like somebody is just exhausted. Somebody is drained here. And because somebody is drained, it's, it's, it's hard to move forward, right? I, I, I think that also with the Ten of Wands here, and this is Saturn in um, Sag, right? It's going through hell and then trying to come out a different way. So I feel like this person is finally coming out. You or this person are coming out of a, out of a place where you're exhausted and you're drained. And I think that you're taking this new step, right? This Ace of Wands, the 10 goes to that. But it's fascinating to me because what's interesting is you do have a lot of Jupiter energy. You have a lot of Saturn energy. And with Jupiter and Saturn energy, it's like there is a, um, there's a lesson here on expansion. There's a lesson here on somebody feeling like they have to do something by themselves, right? Take, take, you know, that's a block. I have to do this. I have to solidify my place. I want to be single. I want to do things the way that I want to move. I want to move the way that I want to move. And I feel like with this person, what they're starting to realize is they're at a crossroad. You are your person, you know? Is this something that you, that they could do alone? Is this something that they could do with a partner? And I feel like there's just a lot of exhaustion or even distance in between both you and this person, which is why things have taken the toll that it's taken, right? Which is why things have progressed the way that they've progressed. Seven of Pentacles here, again, it's Saturn energy. Do you see what I'm saying? It's where to expand, but it's also about stability. It's it's also about walking away from something that somebody has invested in for a period of time. That 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 is an issue. Somebody's finances being delayed, that can be an issue. Somebody working constantly trying to solidify their wealth, that can be an issue. But I feel like there's a lot of frustration with as long as this relationship or this situation has taken to evolve between you and the person. I mean, that's obvious, right? Yo, I'm still shocked at the fact that zero, zero swords have came up here. Zero. There's like no swords in this entire spread. That's crazy to me. For some reason, Pisces, and I'm going to say this, for some reason right now, a major emphasis is on stabilizing the relationship and taking certain actions in order to progress, right? In order to push this relationship forward. Because... Regardless if you want it to move forward or not, it's moving forward, right? The Wheel of Fortune is here. This this is moving forward. And I feel like an unforeseen event in your near future, you have the moon in judgment. There's something that's been hidden here for a period of time, hidden emotions. Um, and I feel like that's coming to the surface here. There's going to be somebody that has some type of outburst on how they feel, on what they want, and where things are going. What happens here with judgment? What happens here with judgment? Oh. Okay, hold on, Pisces, because that just jumped off and totally fell on my floor. So let me move my desk really quick. Hold my beer. Pisces is like, damn it, Whitney, come on. I know, I'm sorry. And then, of course, with nails, it's impossible. All right. It's the star, which is interesting. And it was the three of cups reversed, but I'm going to put it back because I don't know if it's upright or not. What What is this judgment on? What is this judgment on coming up? What is this judgment on for Pisces? The fool. Okay. So for those of you guys that do read tarot, right? Um, I'm sure that we all can take a look here and realize something. Whatever is coming up for you guys, that is an unforeseen event, okay? It's something you do not see coming. This is something that is meant to happen. These are all major arcana, the moon, judgment, the star, and the fool. This is something that's meant to happen, right? I feel like there's a plateau as far as your emotions are concerned. Somebody's been withholding their emotions for a while, and I feel like that's going to come out. 
there's going to be some type of moment between the two of you where there is a level of balance, where there is a level of harmony, where you and this person begin to understand one another and you feel whole about a situation. Because I think you're realizing that what you thought originally, right, here, it's something different, right? Because I feel like right now, Pisces, you don't know whether or not this is going into a relationship or if it's going into something that's very hot and cold again. I think that you're unsure, you're, you're, you're not positive as where this is going. At the same point in time, you have the star and the fool, right? There's something very magical that's happening here that's renewing and restoring a level of hope. Again, with judgment, sorry guys, there's a resurrection, right? It's almost like the past is coming back around. There's going to be another obstacle, or not, a, not an obstacle, but another chance, okay, for you and this person to have reunion together, for you and this person to have a rebirth. Um, because I feel like it's meant to be, right? Especially with the star card here. This is something that's meant to be. This, this is something that's renewed. This is something that it has a lot of healing and I feel like there is a brand new fresh start between you and this person, especially with the fool here. I think you and this person are going to embark on some type of journey together where it is a new start. And I think that there's not going to be any type of limitations. I feel like over here in the past, there was a lot of limitations on control, right? Heavy control issues in the past. Heavy issues with holding in what somebody is thinking, right? Then in your current, it's like things are stabilized, but it's still confusion because I feel like somebody doesn't know what's going on. Where your person seems to think that you and them are getting on the same page, but I still feel like for you, you're worried because there's a lot of options. You're worried if this person is gonna be able or willing to put the work in. If this person is gonna be able or willing to leave something in the past that they've invested in for a period of time to leave their foundation and move forward with you. Whatever it is, whatever is coming, it's a brand new start. I feel like it's a rebirth, it's a change, right? heavy change and I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional stability here and I also feel like there's something that's unexpected that's coming in for you guys which I think is absolutely beautiful and amazing all right let's get the rest of the spread out and if you guys haven't already please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it okay all right let's get into it how does how does um now this is going to be on your person okay how does Pisces person of interest, how do they view their current romantic situation? How does Pisces person view their current romantic situation with Pisces? Okay. The Knight of Swords. Woo. Okay. I was in my head. I'm asking, what does this person want to tell Pisces? The lovers. They love you. Okay. What is an obstacle for this person? The Four of Cups. And what is something that this person hides from Pisces? What is something that this person hides from Pisces? What is something that this person hides from Pisces that Pisces doesn't know about or they've not vocalized? The Five of Pentacles. I'm gonna tell you what I think about this too, okay? Um, and what, what action should this person be taking? What action should this person be taking towards Pisces, okay? the four of wands what action does this person take towards pisces what action does this person take towards pisces okay temperance and what is their intention behind their action with pisces what is their intention behind their actions with pisces Ooh, pisces look at this the empress Something is going on, Pisces. I don't know. I know it's the retrograde, but there's something that's changing. There's something that's shifting. There's some type of major transformation going on between you and them. And what does this person want? What are, what are their intentions long-term with Pisces? What is this person's intentions long-term with Pisces? Wow. Beautiful. The Two of Cups. Okay, Pisces, 
This is gonna be in your extended plus also um, additional Oracle messages at the end. If you wanna know more about this as well as, you know, like I said, the Oracle messages, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you to Vimeo or Patreon and you can decide, um, you know, if this reading resonates and you want to purchase the extended. With that being said, guys, I love you so much. Happy, happy holidays or holidays, what the heck? Happy New Year, my bad. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. And um, until then, happy full moon. Peace out, Girl Scout. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.